Compromise us. Compromise it. Well, I have never been. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, me both. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold. My good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the... Dutch Vanderlyn Finishing School has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out of here the now! Vanderlyn! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall! I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning the yarn, and when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting Scott like you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done! Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who? Not me. No to be this Dutch Vanderlyn, whomever he may be. I am... Hey! All right! Hot down, Marston! That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. so good. I don't feel too good, neither. <clears throat> Freezing. <clears throat> don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. <clears throat> well, I can't go before you make this any off. worse, mister. This don't need to be ugly, just come with me. Jameson in! He's in South Denise. They got Milliken! Got him and gonna kill him! Unless you bring me John Marston! Right now! You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three! Milliken, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> 
from one or four oh, or something? Oh, very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11? 12? 13? Faster. 14, 15, 16, 17. I hear ya! 18, well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. <laughs> don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Milliken here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. You know, stopping a train, you pain in the ass. There. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <sighs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. It's long been broken. But what are you gonna do? I gotta see this through. Try and make some of it right. There was a code we had. Gotta still mean something. Sure. I know, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on its nose. <laughs> Yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. Keep going! All right, Arthur, come on, let's go. You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them up. Here. Just take it. That ain't no use to me now. Ain't no more time for talk. 
Go. Arthur, go to your family. Arthur, get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know. Arthur. How you doing? Nervous, but I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Thank <laughs> you. 